This is called the Colored Rain Chic Mini Palette. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ohima. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey. If you didn't know, Colored Rain is a black owned makeup brand that has intense, beautiful colored lipsticks. In recent years, Colored Rain has ventured into eyeshadow palettes and I have had the pleasure of showcasing a few of her eyeshadow products here on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a brand new eyeshadow palette a few brand new eyeshadow palettes I have dropped at Colored Rain. I was just trying to do a four in one video for you guys and today is the day you get to see all four palettes, all four eyeshadow looks in one place. This is called the Colored Rain Chic Mini Palette. So if you want to see what's in this box, if you want to see what we can create with it, and if you want to see me create one look live that you haven't seen in any other videos, then keep on watching. Is it chick or chic? Uh oh, there's two missing. Okay, you guys, so there are four palettes in here. There's the Neutral Pretty Sunset Wealth. Wealth is upside down, but you know, I'm gonna create four Valentine's Day inspired eyeshadow looks with these for you. Some of them are gonna be simple, some are gonna be not so simple, but there's something in here for everybody. So let's go ahead and jump into the palettes. I'm gonna show you the palettes. We're gonna to proceed to doing an eyeshadow look. I'm gonna show you a palette. We're gonna to proceed to doing an eyeshadow look. Before we go any further, you can use my code Ohema at Colored Rain to get a discount on your order. It is an affiliate code, so I do get a kickback whenever you use it. But if you're gonna be buying from Colored Rain anyway, why not just support me and my channel for bringing you all this amazing content by using my code. First, we're gonna take a look at the Pretty Chic palette. So these are the shades in the Pretty Chic palette swatch. This is the shade in order of appearance in the palette. So this is the first shade, the second shade, third. There are four mattes, two shimmer shades, and the shimmer shades are, let's go ahead and use this palette in an eyeshadow look so we can see what it would look like. Going in with the Milk Hydro Grip eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna apply that all over my eyes. I'm going into this shade. I'm gonna place it all over my eyelid. The color on bare skin is given almost reddish kind of shade, but in the palette it's given like a deeper magenta kind of shade. So definitely an eyeshadow base helps give you the true color of an eyeshadow palette compared to having it on your bare skin. This is intense. Let me take a little bit of this shade and I'm gonna use that to blend the edges of this out. I don't wanna blow it up too much. I'm very, very lightly, I'm like barely touching my skin with the brush because if I push the brush into my skin, it's gonna give me more color payoff. If I just lightly touch my skin with the brush, it can blend out the shade without adding more color to it. So I'm going into the palette, yes, but I'm also barely touching my skin with the brush. That way it can blow up the edges for me without it looking like I put too much color on my eye. And I would also blend the edges out just like I want. I mean, at this point, if you feel like you put too much color on your eyes and you want to take some away from closer to your brows, all you have to do is find a clean brush and then reach into your setting powder. And all you have to do is blend right here. And that actually helps you blend the edges of your eyeshadow out, but also just mute your eyeshadow a little bit more. Tips and tricks, people, tips and tricks. I'm taking the Sephora Collection Precision Eyeliner and I'm gonna line my eyes. I'm gonna go in with the Milani Anti-Gravity Mascara. I don't even need lashes for this, it looks so good. I'm gonna go in with two jaw liners. I'm using the ColourPop Jaw Liner in the shade Fulfill. Okay, I'm only putting it on the inner corner of my waterline. And then I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite liners, or liner line, liner brand. Um, the Too Faced Killer Liners. This is the shade Killer Queen. And I'm gonna put that on the rest of my waterline. It seems like I don't have the footage for the glitter that I applied in the middle of this look. So what I did was I used some of the chunky glitter that I had, and then I went in with the clear dual lash glue. I applied that directly in the middle of that look, and then I put one speck of the chunky glitter in the middle of it to give me that reflective kind of look. You can also use rhinestones or pearls or whatever it is that you want. One of my lashes, this is the Style Chale. Oh, nothing is focusing today. I'm going in with this shade and I'm gonna place that in my in my inner corner. Okay, you guys, so this is my finished look trying. So next we have the Sunset Chic Palette and this is what 
it looks like on the inside. This is like, to me, this is like a rustic shade. This is like, once again, don't blame me that these swatches are not coming out as you've seen on professional swatchers because I am not a professional swatcher, okay? I am not a professional swatcher. This is the first shimmer shade that you see in the palette. It's a glitter based kind of shade. This is a true shimmer shade and these are the rest of the matte shades. So let's go ahead and see what look I created with this. My brows are done. I'm gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the shade all over my eyes because we're doing a Selena Gomez inspired look and we do want it to be subtle. So I'm not trying to go ham on the color. What I'm gonna do is take some of my setting powder. I'm using the Benai setting powder and I'm going to set the edges of this out because we don't want any more color payoff on this look, okay? Like since when am I running away from color? I'm using some of the setting, the setting powder to define the edges of the shadow so they're sharper. I'm applying some of the shade to my lower lash line. So what I'm gonna do is actually apply some of the liner to my waterline and that will just make it appear thicker. I'm not gonna put too much on, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the mascara. Okay, you guys, so I'm considered finished right now. I want. What do we think of the look we created with this palette? I love it. I wanted to do something very simple with this palette because I can do intense with this palette, okay? Next, we have the shade Wealthy Chic. Wealthy Chic, Wealthy Chic. This is the Wealthy Chic palette and this is what that palette looks like. It's a very nice palette. It's a very intense palette and it is a very green palette. So these are the shades in the palette. You can do so much with these palettes that Colored Range just launched because of the number of mattes they give you and the two shimmer shades are perfect enough for anything and everything you want to do with the palettes. Let's go ahead and jump into the eyeshadow look for this palette and then I'm going to come back and show you guys what the last palette looks like and what look we can create with. I'm going in with the eyeshadow primer. So first I'm taking this shade and I'm gonna stamp it into my crease so I can get the maximum color payoff out of this. The reason why it's looking like this is because I'm stamping it onto essentially my skin tone color and not onto an eyeshadow base. An eyeshadow base would have given me the more true tone of the shadow. So keep that in mind. It's still green, but it would have been a different shade on um, an eyeshadow base. Next, I'm gonna go into this shade and I'm gonna use that to blend the edges of this out. Next, I'm going into the Milk Hydro Grip Eyeshadow Primer and I'm gonna put that in the middle of this look and then I'm gonna take this shade and place it directly onto the Milk Hydro Grip Eyeshadow Primer because you guys really loved how shimmer shades look on the Hydro Grip Primer. And then I'm gonna take these three shades that I showed you guys to blend the edges of the shimmer shade out so it can blend beautifully into the green so it doesn't look like the shimmer shade is just like a standalone type of product. You always have to make sure that you blend in your shimmer shades really Really well. Then I'm taking that NARS concealer to clean the outer edges of this look. I'm taking our initial green shade to blend into the outer parts of my eye of my lower lash line. And then I'm taking the next shade to and then I'm taking the next shade to blend into the inner corner of my eye. I'm going in with the Too Faced Killer Turquoise Liner. I'm gonna go in with the Milani Anti Gravity Mascara. Then I'm gonna go in with the Bonsi Beauty Lashes in the style Summer Love, and this is the finished look of the green eyeshadow look. So this is the neutral palette and the shades in here are a bit, mm, I don't, I don't really know what to make of this palette, but I'm going to try to use it and I'm going to see what I can create with it. So I'm definitely, definitely sure that we can do something with this. I'm just like looking at it and thinking, what can I do with this? The shimmers are gorgeous. The mattes. So these are the shades in the palette and as you can see the shimmer shades are on the bottom and the top three shades are the matte shades. The middle shade you can't see at all because it's disappeared into my skin. So let's go ahead and jump into the neutral chic palette and see what we can create with it. Look, I'm gonna prime my base with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Of course this product can actually take on 
eyeshadow, but I also like to use it as an eyeshadow primer because it is an eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with the brush. I'm gonna go in with the Colored Rain Paint Base, which is an eyeshadow base. This is the shade Desert Sand, and this is the deepest shade that she offers. I was just making sure it wasn't gonna spill anything on me. I'm gonna blend it out with the e.l.f. the e.l.f. brush that I used in our previous video. It's now become my eyeshadow prep brush. Because of how fluid this base is, I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes to kind of sort of start drying down. At this point, I need to wash my brushes because I have zero brushes around me that I can use. I had to go get a new brush. This is the Sigma Detail Buffer Brush. I'm gonna try to use only one brush for this makeup look so we can do it beginner style. I'm gonna go into First Kiss and I'm gonna put First Kiss in my crease. I'm gonna stamp it in, okay? I'm gonna stamp it in. And you're going to stamp in your shade. As long as you're not using a blending brush, or a very fluffy brush, you'll be fine. And that gives you an intense color payoff. And now what I'm gonna do is use the same brush and go around in circular motions to blend the edges of this out. Okay, so just like that, we're just doing circular motions just to blend it out. We're not gonna blow it up too much. If you have a Sigma switch, you can go ahead and clean the product off the tip of your brush. I'm going into our second shade and I'm gonna use that second shade to blow out the edges of this because I don't want it to go all the way to my brows with this kind of deep shade. I'm taking our next light shade and I'm using that to blend the edges of this out and immediately you can see that it's diffusing the edges of it. I'm also gonna make sure that the inner and outer corners of my eye have enough pigment on there. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Glitter Adhesive. I don't think it can hold glitter at all, but it could definitely hold a shimmer shade. So I'm taking that and I'm gonna put it directly in the middle of this. Lord, they're so gorgeous. I don't know which one to use. On a regular day, I'm drawn to a gold shimmer, like any day, okay? Any day I'm drawn to that. I'm gonna use this one. I'm going to put this one in the middle and put this in my inner corner. So I'm taking this shade with one of our e.l.f. brushes and I'm going to place it directly onto the ABH, the ABH glitter adhesive. And as you can see, this baby holds on to shimmer. Ooh, honey. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and blend the edges of this out because I can't. If I keep playing with it, I'm going to end up with shimmer shades all over my eyelid and I don't want to do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend the top edges of this out so that it doesn't give me this line that I have over here. I just want to blend it in. Taking our original brush, I am gonna take our deep shade and blend all around this shimmer shade that we put down because we don't want it to overtake our look. I'm going into this shade and I'm gonna place it directly in the middle to give me some dimension to this shimmer shade. Now, I have not been doing anything on my lower lash line lately. And no, I'm not gonna put any of the deeper shade on my lower lash line. I don't wanna do it. For beginner, at makeup or eyeshadow and you're not very comfortable with doing a winged liner you definitely don't have to do it if you put lashes on this it would be perfectly gorgeous and perfectly fine but I haven't done a wing liner in so long and the last time I did it I was here for it so I want to do it again okay so I went ahead and did my liner and applied some mascara to give myself that more lifted eye look I am going to go ahead and use some of the NARS concealer to clean this out I don't need to clean it but doing this will give me that more lifted eye look and i like that for my eyeshadows okay i'm gonna go ahead and apply the lashes so for the lips i'm taking the, the colored rain liquid lipstick this is the shade caramel and we're gonna place it directly in the middle So I'm gonna take some of this shade and put it in my inner corner. Oh, it's so cute. Look at it, this shade. It's so cute in the inner corner. Oh, look at it. It's soft. It's not like a powdery kind of shimmer shade. It, it's buttery. I, don't, I forgot what it's called. I can't stop. Like I literally can't stop. Oh my God. 
I realized that I made a mistake in my eyeshadow. What I should have done was put this shade all over my eyes, just... Wow, look at my inner corner. Okay, you guys, so this is my finished look showing you guys four eyeshadow looks that you can totally wear for Valentine's Day to a Valentine's Day dinner, Valentine's Day party, a little hiking. Okay, maybe don't wear a full face of makeup to hiking. But you know what? Let me not judge. If you want to wear a full face of makeup to hiking, do that, okay? But the, these four eyeshadow looks will literally have you covered from a super glam kind of outing to a subtle kind of like Netflix and chill type of situation. And I am definitely here for every single one of these looks. That is it for me showing you guys four eyeshadow looks that you can do for Valentine's Day using the four eyeshadow palettes from Colored Rain. Let me know down below in the comments which palette is your favorite. Let me know which eyeshadow look is your favorite. Also, let me know down below in the comments if you've picked up these palettes and how you feel about them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you lots and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.